Well, it's a beautiful Monday here in Derby, Kansas, and I've got to tell you about the latest Bellator Circus stunt. Bellator 149. Dada 5000 versus Kimbo Slice. Ken Shamrock versus Hoist. Well, the name I thought was pronounced Royce. Gracie. Shocker air quotes. Kimbo Slice versus Dada 5000. Two guys around 40. Kimbo Slice 42. Dada 39. Both too heavy for themselves. Both probably haven't seen a treadmill in 10 years. Neither of them real fighters. These are two guys who have their claim to fame in bum fight videos. They mentioned before the fight even starts that in the early days of YouTube, there's two stars. Adam Sandberg, I'm on a boat, and Kimbo Slice beating up white guys in Miami. This is the battle for the king of the Miami street fight scene. Didn't know that was a hopping scene that everybody's fighting for. We're a round in. We've just had these guys climbing on top of each other, exhausting themselves. I guess you have a guy who weighs about 260 on top of you, and you're pushing against him, he's pushing against you, and you haven't done your cardio. I guess it'd wear you out, right? So they go to the next round, these guys need help getting off the stools between the rounds. And it just gets worse from there. Real punching has gone out the window. There might have been 10 strikes in the whole fight. It's just exhaustion. It's falling over and being the last guy to fall over. It's like Dada goes down. Just he's on his knees, exhausted. Referee should have stopped the fight. Several times during the fight, referee pulled them apart from each other. Kimbo Slice has him full mount, gets pulled off for just not doing anything. You're on top of the guy, just whack him, hammer fist. But that's the case here. These guys are just falling down, the other guy climbs on top of him. Ugh. Ugh. Barely doing anything. And they call that a fight. For the knockout punch, Kimbo Slice whiffs with such force that Dada 5000 is sent in a circle around the ring and then face plants into the fence. You know, Bellator, it used to be the alternative to UFC in which there was some context of a tournament. Is there still a tournament? It's like our champion is decided by a tournament, whereas UFC is decided by, hmm, this guy's cool, and if she has a good Twitter follower, why don't we just have them fight each other? And now it's the circus. You know, thank God it's not on pay-per-view. Thank God you can actually put on cable TV and watch live fighting. I'd rather see boxing, but there's something there.